And our folks go win the ball game. Play for yourself, play for each other. All right, that's what we do. Okay? Play for the man next to you. Fam on three, fam on three. One, two, three. Man. He sucked again. The ball picked up. They got over to the end zone. Big plays back to back. Boom. Touchdown, Carolina. Are you kidding me? The Gamecocks win it. The wait is over. Football is upon us. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Carolina just less than a week away before the season opener against North Carolina and Charlotte. Coach, we're in the long family operation facility, newly open. How's it been to work in this facility uh, actually right now, and how's preparation going in fall camp? It's been awesome for our players, for our staff. The convenience of being able to walk right on your practice fields right into the indoor the convenience of having the weight room and the training room right here for our players, the meeting room areas, it's been really good for our football team. It's really created a great culture for our team. I've been able to eat multiple meals during the day with our players and our staff has as well, so it's been a lot of fun. Coach, uh, how's the team prepared? Uh, a lot of goals, a lot of great opponents on the schedule this year. You got set in place. How's it going you, with your expectations for this team? I've been very pleased through training camp. We, we've had a very physical camp. Uh, I think we're in very good condition. We haven't had a lot of issues as far as soft tissue issues and those sort of things. I think our strength staff, Jeff Dillman and his staff, did a fantastic job this summer in preparing our football team. So I'm very pleased about where we are. Obviously, we still got a week to get ready for North Carolina, and, and we're looking forward to getting back to Charlotte. On our Prisma Health Injury Report, Coach, every team faces injuries. Uh, every team has it impact them during the year, but few have it like you had a year ago, which was – basically injuries on one side of the ball and really only one or two positions. Did you look at that in the offseason and then now the status, how's the health of the football team? Well, we, we always look at those things as far as what I call quality control of what we're doing. Uh, do we do, need to do anything different? There was nothing from an injury standpoint that was created by how we train or what we do. You, you look back to our first year, we had two surgeries for the entire season, which is unheard of. Uh, so, so, you know, we looked at it, but, uh, but I feel comfortable about where we are. Unfortunate situation with Keel Pollard, a young man that we were really counting on and was ready for a great senior season and an unfortunate situation with his uh, injury. But, but other than that, we're pretty clean. Or Trey Smith was a guy last year, missed all of last season, and what we all know is a terrible, tough knee injury. How's he doing? He's doing well. He's had a really good training camp, excited about him and getting him back in the fold. You know, you think back to his true freshman season, of difference he made when Debo Samuel went down. So, uh, so we're really excited about getting Ortray back. Well, we're just getting started. Can't wait for the 2019 season. When we come back, I'll ask Coach about some keys to the season, and we'll take a look at some highlights from the fall camp. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks, Rittens of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rots. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. management system for this a bash plate for that the electronic locking rear differential for yeah this heading to the supermarket get any truck heading out here get the ford ranger the only adventure gear built for tough we had a large storm and our home was hit pretty bad the next day a friend of ours recommended crescent construction they came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. 
under pressure. Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives. He makes the catch. And the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 National Champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Coach, as usual, the fans don't let us down. They were out at Fan Appreciation Day in droves. They can't wait for Gamecock football. I know that's got to lift you up. Everybody's kind of isolated for a while, then you see the Garnet and Black guys come out. Well, it's, it's really neat for our, especially our young players that don't understand our fan base and how passionate and how old they are. And they, it's amazing the comments that they say after Fan Appreciation Day and how many people are here and how energetic and excited they are about Gamecock football. It's great to have them out. Uh, now our Toyota keys to the game. <laughs> Uh, Toyota let's go places coach uh, maybe overall we talk about North Carolina and some keys there but a key or two for the season as well well I think you know we've improved ourselves up front defensively and I think I look in the front seven you look at linebacker Ernest Jones had a great training camp Sherrod Green's coming along for us TJ Brunson a linebacker uh, Javon Kinlaw's been very disruptive in, in, in training camp is a very difficult guy to block I like our edges, getting Dennis Warnham back to, to a healthy uh, guy is exciting. Uh, feel good about the pieces in the secondary, still working through some things there. Uh, on offense, I think we've improved ourselves on the offensive line. We need to stay, stay healthy at the offensive tackle position. Uh, we're v deeper than we've ever been at wide out when you talk in terms of Brian Edwards and Shia Smith, guys that you've got to account for as a defensive coach. I mean, those guys are difficult guys to cover. We've improved ourselves at the running back position, and I'm excited about Jake in his senior year. 32 starts for Jake Bentley. Uh, Coach, your signature of your football team has always been plus in the turnover margin. Last year, got away from that totally. We were uh, uh, minus in that by a couple, five or seven or so. What do you do to try to get back that edge you got in taking the football away and protecting it more? Well, continue to emphasize the ball. It's the most important thing in our, as far as how we win games is taking care of the ball and, and being opportunistic when we don't have it. Uh, we've done a really good job offensively protecting the ball in camp. Uh, on the flip side of that, defensively, we haven't done as good a job. So, so we, we, we'll continue to coach it, and I think a lot of the defensive turnovers come from guys that have a knack of getting turnovers. And offensively, we've got to protect the football. And you look at the many squandered opportunities we had last year, turnovers in the red zone, we had eight. So, so just th different things like that. We've really emphasized our kids, not that we haven't before, uh, but I think we've improved in that area. Well, when you have the most difficult schedule in America, you better be after it during the summertime. We were able to take a look, as you'll see, the Gamecocks have been hard at work. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. 
South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Okay, let me just start off with, uh, first of all, I'll tell you, I'm honored to be your president, the opportunity to be around great men like you and what you stand for is something that I really admire and I'm honored and privileged and humbled to be the president of the University of South Carolina. I love football because from a president's perspective, it's a unifying event. It brings everybody together. It brings the graduates, it brings the community, it brings the students, it brings the faculty, the staff, it brings everybody together. And when everybody in that particular stadium is proud that they're a Gamecock, you know, you know that you as a player produce that pride in them and the pride that you have in the team itself. And as a team who never lets each other down, we're gonna win. And we're gonna win. And one win gives us the confidence to win again. And that win gives us the confidence to win again. And that win gives us the confidence to win again. Well, Coach, there's the new president of the University of South Carolina, Robert Castlin, speaking to the team this summer. And whether it's an administrator or someone successful outside in another field, you've always thought it's important for the team to hear different voices. No doubt about it. We started with our first night of training camp with President Caslin, and he delivered a great message to former football player at West Point. Uh, we love the military part of that at Fort Jackson and the different things that we do with our football team. But every single night we have somebody different come in, whether it's somebody in the community uh, or it's somebody that's, from, uh, that's got a lot of ties to Gamecock football or somebody just to educate our guys or give a mental edge like Dr. Kevin L does for us all the time to help our guys uh, continue to understand the mental side of the game. Um, speaking of leadership, Coach, this is a team that I have sensed speaks well about each other and the coaches, and that's unusual in a lot of college settings. How's the leadership on the football team been doing so far in fall camp? The best that we've had since we've been here. You look back at the senior class, a lot of these guys, you know, you look at Jake Bentley, Dennis Warnham, and T.J. Brunson have all been already voted team captain by their teammates. Uh, Jake and Dennis as sophomores, the only three in the school history. So we've got a lot of really good senior leadership and more than anything that demonstrate the way it's supposed to be done the right way. Well, when you attend a Carolina football game at williams Bryce Stadium, you get the atmosphere and the feel and the excitement as well. But believe me, that goes on as, at practice as well. We mic'd up Coleman Hutzler. You'll hear it on the field at Carolina. And I get to start my day with strike zone. Really? I get to start my day with strike zone. I get to wake up and start my day with strike zone, Josh. How awesome is that, man? I get out of bed and I go to strike zone, Chad. I get to start my day with strike zone. I wake up, I get out of bed, and I go to strike zone. How awesome is that? Just go right to strike zone, RJ. Snacks. I wake up, Marquay, and I just go to strike zone, Keyshawn Tony. How awesome is that? It's your favorite day, Larry. T-Rob. 
and a little bit of wind, Larry. On the whistle. Better, Jamar. Better. Nice job, man. Nice job, man. Cool tackle to the outside hand. I got an uppercut. I got an uppercut and get it out. I notice. Oh, close your fist. So, stay it in or getting out? Getting out. There you go, my girl. There you go, six. You're going here. You're going here. Extend. If you don't get him off, you can never snag him. Hey, rest, recover, hydrate, study, film. Hey, be a pro. Cold tub day. I love it, man. Up next, we'll hear from Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, and HNTB Design Firm. Uh, it's very important to me, having been a USC graduate working on projects at the University of South Carolina, and I'll, I'll go all the way back to my freshman year in 1990. I actually wanted to go to Chapel Hill, and ironically, we're playing uh, the University of North Carolina in the first game this year. But one of the All-American football players took me on a tour of the university, and I saw things that I'd never seen. Having grown up in Columbia, you drive by the university and you don't see, you don't see the recruiting points, you don't see the horseshoe, you don't see the Russell House, you don't see, um, you know, all the athletic facilities. And you know that really, that really sold me on the University of South Carolina. And what's so great is Contract Construction and myself have been able to work on over 20 projects on campus. So I feel like we've built that recruiting mechanism for not only athletes but for students in the academic world as well. Gear matters. Introducing the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger. The only adventure gear built for tough. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 national champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Noah Campbell the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the baseball team, Campbell is a senior biological sciences major with a 3.742 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life. The benefits of good hard work. Wide receivers to the right side of Bentley. Dattle in the backfield. Fake to him. Bentley. He's got a go route down the right sideline. Man, they're caught. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, oh, Chad perfect. Smith. 38 yards out on the road in conference play. That's how you get emotion into it. 38 yards, the extra point upcoming. Boom. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? And Coach Shai Smith uh, making a great catch and run against Vanderbilt for a big play. That's an area with Debo Samuels going on to the pros that you've got to fill in with a lot of guys. Shai Smith may be on the verge of being one of the next great Carolina wide receivers. I don't think there's any question. He's had a fantastic camp, and I really credit Shai 
on the summer he had. He got stronger. He's in the best condition he's ever been in. And he's had a fantastic camp. He's a very difficult guy to cover. He can play in the slot. He can play outside. He's extremely bright. Uh, but we're going to get the ball in his hands a bunch. Uh, you can't start a season without talking about our Terminex Pest player of the game. Of course, we'll have one after the North Carolina game, Coach. But what about in the preseason camp? Who's been the pest player for you? It's great to have a healthy Dennis Warnham on the field. Yeah. It makes me a better coach. <laughs> I can assure you of that. But uh, he brings so much to our football team, not just from a playmaking standpoint, but a leadership standpoint and just a great example for young players and how you do things the right way. He's the first one to walk through every day. He handles his business. He does what he's supposed to do, when he's supposed to do it, all the time at a championship level. Uh, great to have him back. It'd be nice to have his edge presence back. Uh, for the Gamecocks, we lost him in game one a year ago. Well, you can't start a season of Gamecock football with Will Muschamp without hearing from Mike Carolina. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MikeCarolina.org to learn more. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit USCContest.com to register and check out all the details. That's USCContest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football in your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. It's the right gear with a terrain management system for this, a bash plate for that, an electronic locking rear differential for, yeah, this. Heading to the supermarket? Get any truck. Heading out here? Get the Ford Ranger, the only adventure gear built for tough. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks, Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rots. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties.
defense do want to go after with anything less than your best people. As you see, they have shut out the last two games. They have not scored a five. Carolina Gamecock defense, a great game. We're at the home of the Gamecocks. Williams Price, South Carolina, Carolina still a spark. Very aggressive offense by South Carolina. Black magic. Just days away before the 2019 team, the Garnet and Black, hit the field against North Carolina. Coach, it's the 150th anniversary of college football, amazingly. And just a couple weeks ago, I was one that was very excited to see the reveal of the Black Magic uniform back. How did that come about and uh, your view and excitement for the football team? Under Armour approached us probably a couple years ago about moving forward with some sort of throwback uniform. And of course, the first thing I thought of was the 1984 season. And, and that uniform is my favorite, the garnet helmet, the black jersey and the white pants. And then on the road, the white jersey, uh, black pants and garnet helmet. Uh, so we, we went with that and uh, excited about it. I know our players are, I know our Gamecock family is. How about breaking it out? Do you have a plan yet on when you might break it, it out? It'll be our first home game against Charleston Southern. Yeah. Fantastic, great. Well, we look forward to that as well. Hopefully, and the quality of the players and the substance of their play is what's important, but that's nice. It'll have a part of that. Coach, the North Carolina Tar Heels, 2-9 and nine a year ago, but they brought somebody back to the program, back to college football you're very familiar with and Mac Brown. Your thoughts on Coach coming back to college football, and what about the Tar Heels? What do you know about them? Well, I know they'll be well coached and they'll be well prepared. Coach Brown does an outstanding job. Three of my best years in coaching were at the University of Texas when I worked for him. Uh, but they'll be well coached. He's got a really good staff. Now, they lost five games last year by one score. Uh, so they were in ball games. They also lost a game to a hurricane and didn't replay the game. Uh, so, but they've, they've recruited talented players. A lot of guys that we've recruited since I've been here at South Carolina. Uh, so they've got good football players. We're looking forward to getting back to Charlotte and playing, playing better. Coach, you got a quarterback with 32 starts. But as always, it's important to find out who his backup might be. Jake Bentley's been pretty healthy throughout his career. How has that gone? Has the decision been made? And your, your thoughts on quarterback play overall? Well, I've been very pleased with how we've played at the quarterback position. Number one, we've taken care of the football, and that's the most important thing. But Jake's had a really good camp. Ryan Alinsky will be the backup. DeCaron Joyner will have a role on this football team, some at quarterback and some at some other spots on our football team. He's too valuable not to have on the field, uh, and I really appreciate uh, how all of those guys have handled the situation. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck. We thank everybody for being with us on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. We'll see you after the opener and hopefully every week thereafter during the season.